Right now you might be sitting in front of your computer device. No matter whether it's Android phone or your laptop or your PC or whatever OS is installed, getting things done with ease and comfort is the primary goal of any user I think. So today in this video I'm going to show you a really elegant operating system especially if you are looking for a Linux powered operating system then this can be your best bet. So without further ado, let's see what this operating system can do. Now I'm talking about Genome 41. It's the next generation Linux desktop environment. Using this OS for the first time, I was surprised to see simplicity, ease of use, intuitive controls, also it's fine tuned. So here is my Genome 41. It's installed onto my Ryzen 3 2200G and it has an integrated Vega graphics. Although my system has a quad core CPU and just about 8 gigs of RAM installed in it, you can see the performance of the operating system is incredible. I can feel the performance, it's so smooth, I can use it quite well. Taking a look at a system monitor, you can truly see there is no bloatware process going on. Also you can see just 8 gigs of RAM and system works really good. Before we deep dive into all the features, let me go into the settings and show you couple of interesting ones. These are the desktop backgrounds. In the notification, you can set the notification for each of the application. So you can turn it on or off for each application individually. Here in the search, you can control which application we want to see in the search results. So you can really reduce the clutter if you want to tweak your operating system to your preferences. Going into the multitasking, this is a really interesting one. We have hot corner. With the hot corner, you can touch the top corner and open up the activities overview. So here you can see, I can simply drag my mouse pointer and see what are the activities going in the background. I feel like this is a really interesting approach to switch the background apps and you know, with just the help of a mouse, you can control your entire PC. Now here you can see, this is the active screen edges. So you can snap in the windows. When you drag the window onto any of the corner of the screen, it will automatically resize and snap in. Also you can press the super app that is the windows button and any arrow key and the selected window will be automatically snapped into the particular arrow that you have selected. What do you think about this multitasking feature? Do let me know in the comments down below. By the way, just below that subscribe button, there is a like button that you can hit. So moving forward, we have dynamic and fixed workspaces. Also we have in the multi monitor, like a primary display on a particular monitor and workspaces on all the other displays. So you can set it individually in the settings. I truly feel like the multitask settings are really useful ones. Talking about other settings, you can see these are general settings that is usually available in any other OS and, but you know, moving forward to the most interesting ones, let me show you. So there is a removable media, so you can select what each device should do. Going into the colors, you can set the colors of your monitor. Now moving forward, here you can see onto the upper section, we have notification and time and date. And here you can see onto the right corner, we have a couple of other settings like a speaker volume, mic, also the brightness controlled. Right below that, you can see the ethernet connection and a screen being shared that means I'm recording the screen so it's showing me that and there is a balance power setting right now you can set the another ones you can quickly go into the setting lock your PCR power up moving forward let's see what are the new applications so here I realize there is a document scanner in the document scanner you can connect your external scanner device and scan up your pages also if you have any cellular network connection well you can configure those in this OS also, there is a new app in this OS called Connection and here you can see you can manage your RDP and VNC connections over here. The Connection app truly makes it possible to you know switch your session right from the Windows, Linux or maybe Mac OS even. So you can manage all of your remote desktop from one place. Also any OS is incomplete without any application. So here you can see the software marketplace. Here you can see all the open source softwares and applications. So you can see every application that is listed over here. Basically these are all the pre open source software so you can use it without any problem. And I just realized there are lots of open source software so you won't feel any lack of any particular software I think. Whether it's a work, game or any social app, 
you can find those over here. Most commonly I use OBS for my screen recordings, also VLC player for media playback and also a video editor. And there are a couple of you know open source free video editors available over here as well. Talking about the social platform, well Signal Desktop, also we have Telegram and also Discord and many more applications over here. In my upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how you can run Windows apps onto this Linux operating system. That's for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Do hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and guys we are close to 90k. We have to do 100k. So please do hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.